All right. Today, I figured to get another good video idea out to review one of these cars that I have in my uh, garage. The silver Corvette's gone and the Z06 is gone, but with the V6, Hertz rent a car, red Mustang right here though. Probably cleanest V6, lowest mile. Automatic convertible rental Mustangs ever, but it's in the, um, it's got the GT package on it with the, uh, like GT skirts and stuff. And the GT front bumper. Thanks, GT front bumper. And the black headlights. It looks good. Like, it doesn't look bad for what it is, but obviously it's not fast car. It's not really that fun to drive. But for someone that is wanting to buy a budget sports car, I think, like Ethan Teeters, I should say, I think would we'll dig a um, V6 auto convertible Mustang. So inside, from what year this is, I think this is 2004. 2003 gauges whack everyone knows that radio all old school ford everything i don't even know how to all oh, it goes over the side but yeah it's really clean in here it's got the old same as what's in all the old uh mustang gts and uh mustang v6s everything's the same Light. I don't know if this is standard or if this is a package, but it has the mock uh, sound system. I feel like that's probably stock, but I don't know much about these. I just figured I'd do a quick walk around of what a 2003 um, V6 Auto Convert, if it's really worth it. Look at this, though. Sundance. This thing has, I literally don't think it's been driven much since that 2017, honestly. This thing has under 40K. So, and it's only, it's Hertz red, and they only made a few of them for the rental company, so this color's rare for being a V6. It's a rental car, so it's nothing crazy special, but it is technically rare, and it is cool. It's cool to see one. I'm not gonna drive or anything, but I just wanted to do a fat, little review on everything but as you can see yeah it has the gt profile the side skirts rear vents the wing scoop and this red has the chrome wheels disc brakes everywhere all the way around this side's locked that's whack yeah everything's in really good shape for being the v6 model Normally these things are freaking clapped out. Like big time clapped out. Cloth seats and everything. Nothing special. This thing's still on the battery tender. Find the damn. There it is. That big old V6. <laughs> yeah, nothing special here. Get this up here. Really quick. Yeah, so there's that clean V6. Look how much space is in here. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, this thing is never driven, literally ever. But yeah, this is uh. Oh, Jim's falling off right there. V6 Dang. I think you can get these around. Probably in this condition, they're probably a little more. Plus, this is a older rare version because it's the Hertz rental car I'll put the key in it standard old Ford key fob and key alright there we go let's see how many miles around here it's gotta be in the 40s 31,000 miles damn this was done in 2017, and the ESD even got close to the end number. I'll start it up for you. 
I just don't want this. Here we go. I know this store is closed back here, so don't get on. Got a little bit of a note. I'll actually take it for a drive real quick. I'm not doing anything. It'll be a nice, fun little cruise. This is gonna be one raw clip. I'm not gonna edit anything because I feel like I shouldn't have to. Yeah, see? Listen to that. No, yeah, it's very clean. Nothing's really dirty or whack or anything. Everything's really clean. Yeah, I close this hood real quick. Here are your balls. I'll keep the towels in there. We're good to back up. Yo. All right, so put your brakes on because that's what my boy does. My seatbelt on. I haven't driven this thing in a really long time. It hasn't been something we drive. It's my uncle's, but he doesn't. He hasn't even picked it up in a long time. I thought this thing had auto seats. It does. This thing has auto seats on here. Check this out. I don't know how to use them. I need to go forward. I'll find out in a second. That's not really helping me. I hate these kind of controls, dude. These are so annoying. All right, we don't need it. Look that old fashioned gear cluster. Put it in drive. Now we're heading out. We're in that fat rear wheel drive. First run a car. GT package V6 auto convertible Stang. Best package you can get. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna adjust my seat because I cannot drive like this and then I'll get back with you in a second. This thing's not warmed up yet, but. in that v6 auto the rip six as i should say so i'm just going for a cruise someone pulled over right here watch out for them all right he's fixing the mailboxes i'm starting to do some turns this thing actually handles really nice it doesn't have any body roll it's actually really nice I mean, everything's working fine because I mean it is only it has 31,000 miles. <laughs> I'll give it a little ripperoni down here if you want to see what zero to sixty time is. Ready? The guy behind me, so I gotta hurry up. The thing is really slow, actually. I feel bad for Ethan Teeters. He's got a slow ass whip. <laughs> Holy crap, this thing is slow. A little unbalanced. The steering wheel's kind of shaking. Either that or. Hey, yeah, there's no freaking. They didn't have a. Uh, whatever you call it, lights. Tire pressure lights on these, so. There's probably a low tire. I didn't check. I just was going for a cruise. Should probably turn around seeing this thing is not registered. Actually, it might be. Yeah, I think yeah, it is registered. Never mind. I was going to say, I thought I had a... Uh, it was in storage. Um, insurance, but it's not. It's actually in... It's 
it's actually registered. It's registered and plated, sorry. I didn't want to act like it wasn't. But yeah. Everything's still mint in here though. This thing is just a slow piece. So if you want a cruiser and look like you have a fast Mustang, then yes, buy one of these. But if you're looking for speed, do not think that this is going to give you that. So this, I don't even know what these make. I know nothing really about Mustangs. I think they probably make 160 wheel or something like that. Probably something very pathetic. Not, be not even 160 wheel. It's probably like 150 wheel. Sorry, this is kind of getting confusing. Everyone's trying to turn out of here. You going? All right, I guess not. Some older people doesn't know what they're doing. I'll get on it going about 40. I'll put it down to the ground. Dude, this thing is mad slow. Holy crap, ready? I'm on the floor right now. from 40 to 70 and it took about 10 seconds so <laughs> holy crap this thing is slow it's nice though I don't mind it you can drive this all day long It'd be good daily honestly if you want to look like you have a Mustang if you're one of those kids that says oh I got a Mustang and this is where you drive then fuck oh man well it drives Tricks control. You know we gotta turn that off. There we go. Nothing even comes up up here. Probably could not even manage to do a standing burnout. Maybe you could. In first gear. I don't think you probably could. Unless it was stowing out. <laughs> but yeah, this thing's alright. It's not it's not a piece. I'm gonna pull it back in and then put everything up and I'll conclude the video on I'll just make this review on a 2003 this is rare I guess I could use it a rare uh, in the title <laughs> most rare V6 Mustang in the world probably not true but it probably might be true maybe these bad boys up here i don't know what i got i got my quick rows so they know what's up <laughs> they're probably like what a freaking bag <laughs> yeah i got a v6 thing convertible automatic fit in with all the other high school v6 thing boys no, I'm definitely, definitely digging the whole, um, this thing has no torque at all, literally, zero torque. Okay, go up in here, dogs are trying to kill me. There we go. Mint, turn her off. This thing is meant, actually. I can't get the key out. That's really like what matters. All right, I'll get the key out in a second. But... All right. So this was the review on the 2003 Slow Stang, the Hertz Rent Car Red GT package. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll catch you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.